Oh, we're back to CapCut. Let me show you where you can find the solid color adjustment layer. It's not called that in CapCut, but if you're used to using Premiere Pro, you know what I mean. It's simply a color background. By the way, I use the default layout. Go to Media, Library, and there you'll find all sorts of backgrounds. Open the drop down. For example, typical ones for intro and end. What we want is a simple background. So use the background category. And here are all of these colors. Inbuilt ones have a certain format, but it's adjustable. Let me, for example, use this one. It's 16 by 9. I add it to my timeline and you can see original is 16 by 9. And now if we, for example, use one of these 9x16 backgrounds, like a bluish one, I'll download it, click on a plus sign, it's in my timeline now. I can simply adjust that. So I rotate it 90 degrees and then size it up. So it is possible for all of these backgrounds. Just change under ratio, the aspect ratio, and then adjust it. There's a second way to add a color background. So if you want to use a specific color and you can't find it here, what you want to do is to have only one element in your timeline. If you have multiple ones, just make sure to select the bottom one because on top it won't work. In this case, let me use the bluish one. I go back to original video basic. And when I scroll down, I find the canvas and here I can use drop down and select color. And let me just show you if I add a second element, Maybe this one, I'll put it on top. You will not find the canvas option right here. So this is only active for the lowest element in your timeline. Keep that in mind when you want to use it. Let's get back to it. I open a drop down for canvas, then use color right here. And then you have color swatches and you can pick a color that you like. To be able to make that visible, you have to scroll up to scale and then scale down this part. So you can see the original bluish one is still there. It's in the forefront and I can adjust the background via these swatches. Let me switch back to 16 by nine. As I've said, that's adjustable. And then you want to drag this original out of the frame like this, and then right click on the element in the timeline and create a compound clip. And there's another way to create this background. There are more swatches than there are presets on the left in the library. So you may want to check that out if you couldn't find the color that you needed. I think it's still not perfect. CapCut should adjust that and give you an option to add a hex code for color like you have it for example in Premiere Pro. But this is the best way that you can do it currently in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.